Roz Rothstein. I'm from uh, Stand With Us. This week, we are all part of one giant Shiva. We have all lost a part of ourselves again. Our hearts cry out tonight for Udi, Ruth, Yoav, Elad, and Hadas. And our hearts cry out for the three surviving children, two of them who were in the home at the time of the attack and were thankfully missed by the terrorists. Now, three more orphaned children are part of the Jewish nation. We are shocked as a world community, represented by those who are here tonight to mourn together our tremendous loss. Members of our greater Jewish family have been murdered again. As the child of Holocaust survivors, I have grown up with the stories of barbaric, barbaric acts against the Jewish people of Europe. I lost 80 members of my own family. This tragedy joins a litany of tragedies that makes up the Jewish narrative of pain and suffering, even though we are, in so many ways, so tremendously successful and joyous for so many good reasons. But the Jewish people worldwide have once again been hit hard, like the violent murder of the young Chabad rabbi and his wife in Mumbai, which also left one orphan Jewish child. Or the Jewish people who were killed on buses and in restaurants in Israel. Or young Ilan Halimi, tortured and then killed in France for being a Jew. Or Kobe Mandel and Yosef Ashran, who were murdered while they were on a hike almost 10 years ago. Here we are together again, mourning. Listen carefully and you can hear the mourners of Jerusalem again. We join the mourners who cry for these young people and who cry for humanity and ask how this could have ever possibly happened. Five people murdered in cold blood. This was barbaric and this was evil. This family was targeted because they were Jews living in a place that other people didn't want them to live. So instead of negotiations, they were murdered. It was evil, premeditated, and perpetrated by people whose hearts are filled with hate. Hate that has been taught for generations. Hate which is government-sponsored. Listen carefully and you can hear the mourners of Jerusalem crying about the man's inhumanity to man and how the world ignores it. But the world is very quick to criticize Israel and call for boycotts against Israel. Tonight we represent a full tapestry of mourning Jews, left, right, religious, secular, labor and Likud, Democrat and Republican. We are all Israelis now. And we thank and welcome every non-Jew whose heart is broken for us and who shares our pain. They are standing together with us as we mourn our tragic loss. This cannot be fixed. There will always be a hole in our hearts for the Fogel family members who were murdered. But we must do something in memory of the fallen Fogel family and for their survivors. Being together here in this room tonight is a good first step. Our hearts are joined together tonight, desperately trying to fill the hole by coming together in this collective gathering. We seek and receive the comfort from our support of one another and from our beautiful traditions that bring us together and urge us to support the survivors of the Fogel family. Fogel in Yiddish means bird. We cry for the young Fogel birds whose neshamas were forced to fly away, fly away so early, leaving us all behind trying to figure out how we will act to honor their memories and how we can heal our own broken people. May we remain strong as a people that is able to derive strength from our collective community 
as we stand together in such times of darkness. And may we come together in times of joy. May Hashem give the surviving members of the Fogel family the strength to face tomorrow.